Let's create some wireframes in Illustrator. All right, I'm going to put it on fill. I'm going to select a light gray color, select the circle, press and Alt Shift plus Alt. And first I'm going to make a donut. So I'm going to go to Effects, 3D Materials, 3D Classic, and I'm going to select Revolve. And here I'm going to go to Surface, change it to Wireframe. And here you go, we got the wireframe. And I'm going to increase the hole inside of the donut by going to the offset and increasing the number. For example, I'm going to go with 25 and it's going to make a hole inside. You can also rotate however you like. I'm going to click OK. From here, let's go to Object, Expand Appearance, and I can go to the Stroke Settings and increase the Stroke Weight, something like this. Now let's make a sphere, create a circle. I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool and select this anchor point here, press on Delete. Now we're going to do the same thing, go to Effect, 3D Materials, 3D Classics, Revolve. And we're going to switch up the offset from left edge to right edge. And, and we're going to change up the plastic shading to wireframe again. And here we have it, the same process. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and you can increase the stroke thickness a little bit more. And now I'm also going to make a wormhole, create a circle. Now I'm going to swap it from Field to Stroke, actually. I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool, Delete, this anchor point, press on delete. And I also gonna delete the bottom anchor point. Now I gotta go to effects, 3D material, 3D classic, revolve. Now we have the shape. I'm gonna increase the offset. 16 is good. Change up the wireframe. There you go. Click OK. And I'm gonna zoom in and check this out. We got double lines. So I won't expand it now. I'm gonna go directly to the stroke options and decrease the weight check this out look at this if i increase it it's gonna make it like this really thick it looks really cool by the way but i don't want it so i'm gonna decrease it eventually to somewhere around 0.5 and i gotta go to object expand appearance and i'm gonna increase the stroke thickness again it might look a little bit messy because of the line thickness this is the max you can do here in illustrator and not but least we're gonna make this really cool wavy wireframe so make sure that you're on the stroke. I'm also going to change it to black this time. And I'm going to select this tool right here, the rectangle grid tool. If you don't have it, you can click on the three dots and you're going to find it right here. And let's create the grid. By the way, don't release it. Long click and you can press the up arrow and also the right arrow to make the grid system even more dense. So I'm going to make it really dense, something like this. Now I'm going to release. I'm going to go and select the three transform tool, which is located here. And as you can see, we've got a new menu hidden right here from the free transform. And I'm going to go and select the second option, the perspective distort. And I'm going to pull the upper right corner some like this, select the selection, and I'm gonna make it in perspective like so. Let's go to object, envelope distort, make with mesh. I'm gonna go with row four and column six, click OK. Now let's select the direct selection tool. I'm gonna click here on this anchor point and press and hold shift, also click on the right one, and I'm gonna bring these up. I won't push it to the extreme, and I'm gonna select here in the middle one and test it out with this here, nice. And you did the same thing with the rest. Now of course you can uh, make it more inconsistent too, nice. I'm gonna go to object, expand, click OK, go to stroke, increase the thickness, something like this. And that's how you make wireframes in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.